Okay. I know I have not done a video in the longest time. But, oh my god, y'all. Okay, I have not been excited to watch, which I did a Game of Thrones review, but I still have to, I still have to, um, edit it. But I just want to get on here really quickly. This video is not going to be long because my husband had to be home. Look, I got laundry. I put aside my afternoon. I said, let me get my Chinese food. Let me get my candles lit. Let me get the ambiance going. And I just got done watching Beachella. <laughs> Which I watch it whenever I'm having a bad day. Like, I watch it. But, y'all, oh, my God. It's just the freaking power. The power. She said, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Like. Ah! Y'all, just, oh, my God. Like, okay, look. For real, though. My, my husband's about to be home for real. I just wanted to say that beyonce just she got up there and she literally did what she had to do like she showed the girls what they should have done but never will and i'm not even being dramatic like her freaking mind it's literally like wow like oh my god like i remember watching beachella the first time right First of all, Beyonce, for any young black girl, you remember, she was a staple. She was literally a soundtrack to your childhood. Like, you remember your mom playing Destiny's Child. You remember your mom, oh my God, playing Chick Upon. Oh, but you look like you like what you see. Would you come over and Chick Upon? I'm gonna let you walk up on a lady that I'm Chick Upon. I watch you, I hate Chick Upon. I check it, pop it, took it, stop it, check on me and I. Like, <sighs> if you got one for a night. See, and that's why my phone my phone almost died but oh my god and then slip thug and bun beat oh my god bro that's so freaking good like i know my neighbors are mad because i was i had it on 80 y'all the whole time and i was up i had a pause it i was dancing pause it dancing pause it dancing i'm worn out from watching it i'm very tired um i can't imagine how tired she is or was like y'all like in the film literally in the film on netflix homecoming this girl i mean she had two babies in her womb and she snapped back she said no bread no carb no chicken no chi no like no life no live like she really lives to entertain us wow the power literally like she was really like jesus really did that Oh, it's my husband. Hey, babe. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm making a video about Beyonce. Hi, my name. <laughs> I didn't even tell him I was making a video. But y'all, like, oh my god, this is so good. Like, Jesus really did that with her. Like, wow. His mind. Wow. Cannot believe it. Wow, like she, I mean, she picked out every material on the stairs to the lights. She picked out the lights. How do you even know what lights? Like, I just picked whatever cheapest light bulb is at the store. Huh? Like, how? How does she, and juggling three babies and a man, and just life, like, whoa. I mean, yes, I know she has money and resources to do all that, but it's just like, oh my. And then when she was standing there in her silhouette with Destiny's Child, whoo, the power that that has, okay? She was standing, they were like this right here. When I, when I tell you I screamed, I literally, when I tell you I screamed, look, and look at that makeup that I ain't even wash off. I scrimped. Hello? You are doing the absolute most out here. And what about it? I'm just saying. And then this heifer wants to drop a 40 song album? A 40 song album? With a remix of May's 
oh my I just we don't deserve like we literally don't that's really all there is to it wow and I loved her in Solange's part. I remember that. Like, I, babe, do you remember whenever I was watching Beachella um, at the old house in Huntsville that night? Beachella. Remember? I was watching it. And I, oh, this is what I was going to say. It was not. It was not. Dude, this place right here, wherever it is, up here. Right here. Way better. Babe, that place tastes like garbage. It's like butthole juice. <laughs> God, babe, they have no flavor. I'm sorry. No flavor, dude. Where are their taste buds? Their taste buds, they flew. They're literally non-existent. Yeah, they flew. Wow. Wow. Can't relate to that type of lifestyle. Um. Swipe the white taste buds. They jumped. <laughs> I hate you so much. Where are you? Where'd you go? Go get some water. Okay, go get some. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Babe, what was I talking about? Dang. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Whenever B said that she literally stopped the world, I remember where I was when she dropped her album. I was literally on the freeway and I had to pull over. I got, I exited off the freeway. Like, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Like, it's not a game. I remember this. Okay. So, I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all that... My queen came, she did what she had to do, and she exited. Like, literally, you never see, this is why my thing is, people can't, when I ask people why they don't like Beyonce, they cannot tell me why. And you know why? Because there's nothing that she does. What does she do? She's never in the tabloids. She's never in drama. You literally never hear her doing anything except for showing up, looking beautiful. Showing out. Showing out, period. And being rich. That's it. So, because you can't do those things. Love you, babe. Love you. Oh, I want to, hey, show me. I want, <laughs> I love you in your dragon chair. Oh, my God. I got his Gamer Throne shirts and he's wearing the dragon chair. Hey, <laughs> come do that little dance on camera. <laughs> hey, but look, whenever you get back, I want to see how you start the truck with that little thing. Yeah. So, calm me down so I can come see. All right, love you. Anyway, so, literally, because you can't do that, are you mad? Yes, you are, because you could never do it. So, me either, but I'm not mad. I'm happy for her. So, yeah. So, anyway, I just want to say that the Black Texas Queen, it jumped. It jumped because I was, it was radiating from the screen. Like, she really highlighted Black Southern culture, which is a big thing that I've been talking about. Y'all that know, know. If you follow me on Twitter, Gary Shoddy, y'all know what I'm talking about. It is what it is. I just, it's, wow. She's really that powerful. Hmm. Just the name. Just the name. Just homecoming. We didn't even have to see her name. We knew it was coming. Y'all feel that? Y'all smell that excellence? Like, really smell it, though. Okay. Well, I love y'all. Um, I will be editing my Game of Thrones review. <laughs> I will be editing it, but I just had to get on here very quickly and tell you guys that she just came in. Oh, let me not, let me just mention all the people, like all, like the dancers, the freaking band. Oh my God. It felt good. It felt like home. It felt like a cookout. Like it felt like, it felt like you were watching your like cousin that you're so proud of. I'm not even joking. I'm not even being dramatic. If you watch it, you know what I'm saying? Like, hello and goodbye because you know what I'm saying. Um, she had the big girls on here. She had the girl, like the girl, oh, the dark, chocolatey, beautiful skin. It was just, it was everything. Like, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy for her. And I literally am so proud. And I literally feel like my play cousin got up there and did what she had to do. And that's it. I literally just got done watching it. So now I'm going to go listen to the album. Okay and stream the new album and that's it and goodbye and my only sweatshirt that i own made a feature in today's video bro my mama keeps calling me i gotta go y'all for real bye